Alright, so for today's video, I will share to you on how to create a Metro style dashboard in Power BI. The beauty of Metro style is the minimalistic design and the informative approach which provides high level information on each card. And this is really useful when you want to present a quick summary of the whole dashboard. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to always get updated. Let's go! Okay, so the first step is to prepare your design in PowerPoint or any editing software like Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator. But in this case, I will be using PowerPoint primarily because of the slide size 16 to 9 ratio, which is the same as in Power BI. This will mean that I would have and get the same pixels when I use this as an image and import it in Power BI. But before we proceed, let us check first the draft design we want to achieve. So basically, this metro style dashboard always have this card style design and a gradient effect background that we want to replicate. We would also have our header title at the top of the dashboard and footer at the bottom. But keep in mind that our main goal is to show high level information that would represent the content of the whole dashboard in each card. And now we are ready. We'll start by creating a gradient effect background and you have two options for this. It's either one, you paste a gradient image in the slide, or two, you take advantage of the gradient formatting in PowerPoint. For this instance, we would do our gradient via formatting it in PowerPoint itself. What you just need to do is so right click at the slide you are into, select format background, select gradient fill, and you go to gradient stops. Let us change the color first for each stops, and I will explain it later. So for the first stop, we will change it to dark seal. For the second stop, we will select blue gray. And for the last stop, we will select dark purple. Now, the main purpose of this gradient stop is to combine multiple colors in a background and control the shades of each color that was selected. You can also change the type, direction, angle, and of course, the color of the gradient. Please feel free to play around in this formatting until you get the gradient that you want. Now we already have our gradient background. We can now add our header and footer. Now for the cards, we'll just create a rectangular shape in the middle part of our slide. This rectangular shapes will serve as our card. We will then change the color, gradient, shadow, shape border, and we'll just repeat the process. Now, for the metro style dashboard, please feel free to resize each card depending on the visuals that you want to present in the dashboard. For example, if it's just a number, then you could have a square card. While for the graphs, like line graph, you could have a rectangular card and so on. For the final step in creating our background, we will save this as an image. It could be a JPEG or PNG file type. And finally, we'll import it to our Power BI. Before we proceed, let me just be clear why do we create a design in PowerPoint and we did not build it in Power BI directly. And I have three reasons. Number one is simply we want to have a draft of our dashboard first. We don't want to build the whole dashboard in Power BI without any plans and blueprint laid out. Having this layout would expedite the process of our development. Number two is that Power BI is not supporting the gradient formatting to shapes yet, but if they add this as an additional feature, then we could do it in Power BI directly. And number three is that we don't want to create multiple shapes that might affect Power BI performance. But of course, as Power BI developer, it is your job to weigh in the design versus functionality and performance. Now we have our background, we can connect our data to Power BI. For new viewers and subscribers, please take note that you can download all files, including the PowerPoint and Power BI dashboard. You can refer to the link added in the description below. To add our data, you could go to Home, Get Data, select Excel, and select the file that you want to import. You will then see multiple data sets that you could import. And in this case, we will select those data that were formatted as table in Excel, those with TBL, then click load.
you could go to the Fields pane in the right side of your Power BI to check if it's imported successfully. Next step is to model and arrange the relationship of our data sets. So in the left side of your Power BI desktop, you can see three sections. We have report, data, and model. We will go to the model section. And in this section, we can see all data sets that we have imported as well. To make it simple for now, we will try to find the primary keys of these data sets so we could connect them. For non-technical pips, it is more likely the same as VLOOKUP in Excel, where you try to find the same reference value from different data. We will start in adding our visuals in Power BI Desktop. First, I will add a title for the first card. We will change the background color, opacity of the shape, and we will also add icons in the right side of the title. I will just repeat the process. After adding the text and icons, we can finally add our measures and sorts to every card. For the sales performance, we will select a class or column sort. And the value will be the summation of sales, and our access will be order date year. We will do few formatting, like removing the background color, changing the font style and size, and changing the color of the data points. The reason is that we want to blend this chart with our Metro Cell dashboard, and then we will just follow the same process across all cards. And here is the final result. We just make it really simple. And please feel free to add more visuals based on your need. If you have any questions, clarifications, or suggestions to the next video, don't hesitate to shoot an email. Bye. <laughs>